Welcome journalists. You are our very first Ford Fellows for the Critical Voices Writing Fellows pilot program. I am Kate Daniels and I am the director of the Women's International Perspective. I am working in partnership with the Graduate Writing Center and the Digital Learning Commons at the Monterey Institute of International Studies to bring you this exciting new project. What I would like to do in the next five minutes or so is walk you through what is a WIP feature article. So by the time you get to your first meeting with your tutor, you will be able to get right down to the learning that you have signed up to receive in this exciting new fellowship program. So with that, let's get to work. So the first thing I want to talk about is choosing your topic. What is a WIP feature article? Most of you are familiar with the WIP because you are readers or journalists who we have worked with in the past. So you're probably familiar with our tagline, which is local voices, global stories. And that tagline is probably the best guide that you can use in deciding what topic you're going to write for for the WIP. Because for us, what that means when we say local voices, global stories, is that the stories are personal for our journalists, for the journalist who writes the story. Personal can mean one of two things. A writer can be connected to the story by location. They can be connected to the story because it's happening to them or to the communities where they live. Or the journalist can be connected to the story through her expertise. Because just like the underrepresentation that we have of women in the media, as journalists, we also have an underrepresentation of women experts. So you'll see on the screen that I've pulled up a link to the WIP feature articles. And I got there by just clicking on the feature article tab on the WIP website. The feature articles that we post on the WIP are exclusive to the WIP, meaning they haven't been published elsewhere. We have other elements of the website, such as our byline portal, our current headlines, and our blog, where the content has been published other places or may have been published other places. But our feature articles are exclusive to the WIP. And you'll see here that our writers are all connected. This author, Christine Stark, is herself a native woman of Ashinabe and Cherokee descent. And she lives in the region where women are being trafficked on ships. Our stories are, are very different from the traditional reportage that you see in many news reports. We like to connect with the individuals who are involved in the story and whenever possible let their voices tell the story. We think that this human contact with the individuals involved in the story gives our readers an opportunity to connect with the story in ways that they might not otherwise. What happens when that happens? When that happens, it becomes more difficult for a reader to disassociate themselves from the story, to, to read it and then just move on to the next story. Instead, we hope to have the kind of lasting impact on our audience that, that hopefully will lead them to possibly take action in the future about this issue, even if that action is simply remembering the story and sharing it with another individual later on. We also like very much to include commentary wherever possible from you, the writer. This is often considered taboo in journalism. Journalists are, are 
are often told not to include their, their personal thoughts or opinions in a story. But we value at you as a journalist too much for that. We want to hear your voice in the story. You are connected to this story because of your locale or your expertise in ways that other journalists are traditionally not connected to the story. So for that reason, we want your thoughts and opinion and insights about this issue. Of course, we will support your opinion and your per perspectives with uh, whatever facts are necessary to round out the story. But we want to hear your voice. We want your voice literally to be a guide, taking our readers on a journey through the article that you are presenting to them. You will be conducting interviews in your article wherever possible, especially keeping in mind that women are underrepresented as experts in stories. Seek out women and men who are creating positive social change and interview them. Get points of view, facts, data from individuals that are not the same individuals that every single person is quoting and you can find them on Google easily with one search. We want you to connect with the people that we can't connect with because we are not living where you are living. Get their quotes, get their accounts, and if they're doing something that is particularly innovative in terms of creating social change, highlight that, talk about it, share it with us, and let us know what you think. Can it be replicated uh, in other parts of the world? Is it a success? Will it be transformative? So now that you have an overall idea of what a web feature article is, please keep this checklist in mind. To learn more about the WIP feature article, you can always visit our website and find everything that I've talked about in this introductory video at our About page. If you click on our About page and click on the Submissions tab, you will find everything I've just shared with you about our article, as well as a link to the WIP Writer Guidelines that you can download.